Robin Higgins, and this is the air to fuel ratio for the combustion of carbon monoxide. All right, so let's break down what we're looking at. First of all, we know that we're reacting carbon monoxide and we can find the structure through its name. So we have only one carbon because they would have told us if we had two or more. We know we only have one oxygen because of the prefix mono. So this is our structure for carbon monoxide. Now, we know we're going to have carbon monoxide undergo combustion, which means that it reacts with oxygen gas. It's actually just air. This is the part of air that reacts. So now we have to find our product. And combustion reactions always combine to form carbon dioxide. So you can see the difference between this, carbon dioxide, The prefix di means two, so we have two oxygens. And now we have to balance the equation. Well, starting here, we have one carbon, one carbon, that works. But over here, we have three oxygens and only two over here. That means we're going to have to bump this number up to two. Now we have two carbons, two carbons, that works. And now we have well, four oxygens here and four oxygens here. So we're completely balanced. So the original question was, what is the air to fuel ratio? And in this case, our air is oxygen and our fuel is carbon monoxide. So the ratio is two to one, air is one, carbon monoxide is two. I'm Robin Higgins and this is, what is the ratio of combustion for carbon monoxide?